Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty big news going on over here, and kind of what a pretty big viral tweet that a lot of folks have been kind of doing a breakdown on and discussing on, especially with, as of right now, with PlayStation about to go have their CES conference later on throughout today. Which, by the way, if anything does kind of good pop up throughout that, throughout the next one or two days, we'll make sure to go and cover that news, so make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on for that. But basically, the kind of really big topic over here is in regards, not even on the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 5 Slim, or even the PlayStation 5 Pro, but more so in regards to the PlayStation 6, and then the next iteration of the Xbox Series X. Now, we, I think a lot of folks are kind of jumping the gun, don't get me wrong, but when it comes to this stuff, it's intriguing, because we had Jason Schreier, who did a pretty big viral tweet, discussing the importance over now of how important the PlayStation 6 is, how a lot of video games nowadays are taking literal decades sometimes to go be made, and how, as of right this second, pretty much almost the entire PlayStation 5 life cycle is probably getting almost close to completion and as well now these big game companies are now pushing towards the idea of the playstation 6 and other various next gen consoles so talk about this bring this on up and as well as i mentioned make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on twitter and twitch room down below in case you guys would like to go and follow we'd love to have you guys there and of course the target amazon links too and let's dive into this kind of big i guess general news story so as we mentioned like right now video games take a very very long time one really good kind of relevant case in point over here is in regards now to fable now in case you guys are curious on the whole fable side fable actually had a lot of leaks these past upcoming few days where basically it was reported that it will be a very very far away release date with the new report coming over here that fable game has some bad news according to a leaked report the reboot will be lucky to be an even on Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S game because it will be lucky to be out of the end of this generation. Mainly in the fact of we're already on year two going into year three. And at this point, if we have, let's say, a six to eight year life cycle, some games take upwards of over five years, especially on a AAA game. And as well with the Unreal Engine right now launching, like Unreal Engine 5, well, basically it takes a long time to make the assets, port the game over, develop the game, get the audio for the game, and as well make sure to do things like for bigger games like mocap, marketing, uh, play testing, quality assurance, server testing, and everything in between. Or at this day and age, it's not only taking like a year or two to make a game, although some games can if they have a wonder studio or if they're also on the indie side, this is mainly in regards to the big AAA studios. Where big AAA studios out there, well, could maybe take a very long time. So a lot of me people are kind of even saying for case for fable a very big triple a game with it having all these issues and being locked out and maybe potentially having to start from scratch it has it over that it might not be coming out until 2027 which if you guys kind of go by prior generations we might either already have the playstation 5 pro already be decently into its life cycle or as well the playstation 6 already either coming out or coming out soon and if you have a say a big game release such as the playstation 6 they would probably do something similar to how they would do that right now where they have a ps4 and ps5 dual launch now granted fables an xbox game but case in point just using it as an example so basically kind of either we're kind of seeing a lot of these games and these game cycles taking multiple years and this has not been too much of a common occurrence until recently you know maybe ps3 onwards we're back in the day some big game genre Rose would maybe go make like three generations of games all within one console so basically like you have like four different games come out on the playstation 2 or like multiple different games come on the playstation 3 but as games get a lot more in debt intense graphically coding wise like just everything in between the dev cycle is taking a lot lot longer now, I may want to use this one too as well, where even some people like over here saying like Andy Robinson are like, yeah, according to Robinson, Fable might just make it out until the end of this gen. And if you're paying enough attention to re reports, rumors, and rumblings about the game, all of which have pointed to a slow and troubled development, and that kind of goes into Jason Shire's main point, which went pretty viral, 12 million views, saying, fun fact. Video game production cycles have gotten so long that if a big budget game studio started working on a brand new project as of literally today, it would most likely be for the PlayStation 6. And I think this was a very interesting topic to bring up because a lot of folks are talking about this. Like even over here, even at our small studio, we basically are basically a one game per console life cycle for scheduling because you have to worry about the concept, the prototype, the development, the testing, the release, bug ports, port fixes. And it's also a big point to note is that even if it takes three years to make a game 
which is relatively quick. You also want to make sure you're maintaining that game afterwards, have a team fixing the bugs, game breaking bugs, and all that type of stuff too as well. So this kind of went into a really big topic because we even saw people up on Reddit where it's like, hey, it's just not like kind of how I mentioned and thought about too. It's not like these old school days where even some of these games out there where say Mass Effect put out three games in one generation. Dragon Age team put out two really huge games and a cross-gen game as well. And all these other big games too were basically getting one good game. Now, I'm not against having one proper good game that's well made and well thought out and well developed and well supported and everything in between, but it is very intriguing to see then how much this matters. As right now, these game companies, like think in Activision, think like, you know, Naughty Dog or whatever it might be, they're focusing really heavily on making sure this next upcoming game is going to be a proper game but it's going to take five years to do that they might be planning on developing the stuff for the playstation 6 or preemptively making assets on a custom engine that would also be on the playstation 6 or xbox series x2 or whatever it might be in the future and this is very intriguing because a lot of people are kind of like yeah, I get this, but it's kind of kind of stinks because right now some games they can maybe squeeze their way into the end of the life cycle. But think of a game like God of War. We've been hearing about God of War for leaks and rumors for multiple years at this point before the game fully came out, and even then when they were showcasing up the game that was probably in development for a very long time. And some folks were even saying by the time of God of War, the first one came out, they were already pretty deep into the development cycle of this next one in terms of story, in terms of storyboard, and everything all in between. And I agree on this because it's. Crazy crazy to see on how these games are now going towards the PlayStation 6. Like we're seeing over the different types of games where people almost being nostalgic back in the day of all these prior generations because they just weren't as complex. They didn't have as much graphics or things you have to encode or like these weird interaction cycles or these next gen like you know basically developing things or things you don't have to render all that stuff like an 8-bit game versus what we have nowadays with literal facial recognitions and like people sweating and like hair flying around everywhere isn't kind of crazy to go and see. So it's kind of of an interesting topic to see that like right now PlayStation 6 games are being worked up that these big studios have been making this a big point that they want to make sure these upcoming games will be good on these next upcoming gen consoles so kind of a fun little nifty because we've seen a lot of people discuss it a lot of libraries and some people even preferring having these brand new games coming out more often rather than one big mega blockbuster of a good game so I guess the topic for this video would you guys rather have how it is nowadays like one major great game like say for God of War that will probably won't see another one maybe 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 for later on this generation maybe probably doubtful though or would you guys rather have like let's say three kind of decent games but they're not you know not crazy 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 I'm kind of indifferent I'm a streamer so I kind of like newer releases and like the reviews and discussions but at the same time I don't know, like it's it's kind of definitely changed up how gaming's worked, and that's kind of why I also kind of prefer indie games, because they do have a quicker dev cycle, cycle typically, so there's not as advanced. So, kind of give me your thoughts and comments in the future of all these generations. And that kind of goes and once again leads into new, new consoles, because as of even today, we might potentially, I kind of doubt it though, because uh, we already know these new upcoming PlayStation 5 consoles are in the works. It's the same thing. Like, we kind of already knew that there was new consoles in the works like the day that PlayStation 5 came out. It's been almost like over two years now ago at this point. And it kind of goes to show that there's always something being developed and worked on when it comes to these big companies. And that's why it's kind of intriguing because as of now, without a doubt, the PlayStation 5 Pro is being developed and worked on or maybe potentially tested depending on how in-depth it is or this brand new kind of PlayStation 5 Slim or these detachable PlayStation 5 consoles we know they exist they've been out in the wild they have been leaked and it kind of goes to show on how future thinking these big companies are although you have to be because if it takes literally thousands of people and like hundreds of man hours all between them to make these certain games either games or game dev or engines or consoles or whatever you do need to be working on this multiple like multiple years in advance so it wouldn't even be surprising to me right now that the playstation 6 is already being worked on and being researched and maybe a smaller dev team and smaller like research team than say the playstation 5 slim or playstation 5 pro because, well, they are more, you know, closer in terms of dating time, etc. But at the end of the day, it's just very, very intriguing to see that the future is so based on basically future approaching these games. So, I would love to hear your thoughts and comments and all this down below. Maybe because, I mean, I don't really want to have to be getting hyped up for PlayStation 6 games when we're still waiting for even more Xbox or PlayStation 5 games. But at the same time, that is kind of how the game development is as of right this second. And like I said, it's kind of a toss-up. I think I kind of prefer maybe one better game good game that's really good but at the same time i do kind of have good fond memories of like old school nintendo and everything back in the day 
So as I mentioned, I would love to hear your thoughts and comments on this one in the comment section down below. And as well, we'll kind of maybe go and see what Sony has a chance to unveil. So make sure you guys are subbed for that one. If it's anything good, we'll let you guys know it's going to start over at 7 p.m. today for the Sony press conference. So make sure you guys are subscribed for that one. Twitter and Twitch room down below if you guys want to follow. And of course, the Amazon and Target links too as well. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching here in the first place. And thank you guys all so much for watching.